Okay guys, I hope you're well. I'm also over the moon scale watching again and I'm gonna review these night vision binoculars I've been using for the last two scale watches. They're called TKWSEIs. They're pretty good binoculars really. They're not the best. I'm gonna be honest with these reviews, they're not the best in the world. But if you want better you are gonna pay a bit more, although there are a couple of night vision binoculars I have got at a similar price range, which I think are at that little bit better, but we'll review them in another video. So these particular night vision binoculars, £230, although I did get them on sale for 140 so you can get a bargain. The lightweight, uh, you've got this strap, so you can put them around your neck, nice little case they come in with a handle on, if you want to carry them around that way. It uses an IR illuminator, seven settings with that. Micro SD card, it's a 4 gig up to a 32 gig, you get a USB cable, so you can connect to a computer, get your footage on there. Or I just use a SD card reader for iPhone, put your SD card in that and you get your footage on your iPhone that way. So they are good, especially good and clear if you want to film ground level into the forest, if you're trying to film wildlife, get that IR illuminator on, put it up a few levels. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, if you want to film the skies, the stars, you don't have your IR illuminator on. But if you do, it'll just wash everything out. You won't be able to see anything. And to power these binoculars, you don't get a battery with them. It takes six AA batteries at 1.5 volt alkaline batteries. And the manual says, if the IR illuminator is on, you should get five hours of recording time. If it's off, six to seven hours of recording time. I've not used them for that length of time, so I'm not sure. But I do know over the last two scale watches, I've probably used them with the IR on and off. For a total of four hours and there's still power so they are pretty good i have had these sort of cameras or binoculars and binoculars in the past which have drained within the hour so that's definitely a bonus and there you have your menu key where you can go through your options of turning the sensitivity of these night vision binoculars up or down formatting your micro sd card and many more options on there and also it can be fitted to a tripod which is great and although they call them binoculars not really a true binocular you can see one of these lenses is actually the IR light and the other is the one you look through the one you focus so in reality really they're a binocular but they're on sale as a binocular like I said not the best not the clearest but you can certainly make out the stars with these binoculars so they are brilliant if you're just starting out you want to try scale watching but you don't want to spend much money so the specs, like I said, there's seven different levels of RR Illuminator. Image-wise, you've got 1280 times 960 pixels, and it records at 30 frames per second. So pretty good binoculars. And the, the controls here on the top, you've got your on off. You can select between photo and video mode. And then you've got your RR Illuminator there, up and down. So not bad at all actually i'll show you some footage the first bit of footage coming up is with the ir illuminator set up to number four like i said there is seven but this is number four over this field towards a forest so i think it's very good for that and the second bit of footage the ir illuminator is off and we're looking up at the stars the link so these binoculars is in the description and the description of all videos. I'll be reviewing a lot of equipment that I use on this channel and any equipment in any videos, the link will be in the description. Just give you an idea of what's what. Like I said, I'll be honest, if it's good, it's good. If it's crap, it's crap. What am I going to say about these? Six, possibly a seven out of ten. They're not bad, but they could be better. Thanks, guys. Speak soon.